Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Miraflores, which is a neighborhood district area of Lima, Peru. And during our trip to Lima, we rented an apartment in Miraflores in a great location. In this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour, walk you through our entire apartment. But before we have the entire apartment tour, we're gonna go have breakfast at a place that's just down the road from here. Oh, there's no red light. They're doing a bit, they're doing a lot of construction here. So that's the only thing is that the road and sidewalk is torn up on this side. And then the place that we're going to is called La Lucha Sangucheria for breakfast. Normally it would be a little bit nicer without the, all of the construction debris and kind of like open to the park, but it's still very nice. And this is a great place to have breakfast. Hola. This is actually a sandwich restaurant, but they're open for breakfast. A lot of people say they have really good breakfast, have really good sandwiches, and also they're very famous for their fresh juice and coffee. Oh, and they also say they have some of the best french fries in the world. Should we try the french fries for breakfast? <laughs> it's papas fritas Juairo, las mejores, las mejores del Peru, the best in Peru. Oh, the chicken. Café pasado dos, por favor. Okay. Y Fresa naranja. Fresa? Fresa naranja. Okay. They've really got a system down here, like a really fast system. You order here, it's all standing kind of space. And they do have a few tables, but bar counter seating, you could like have a quick cup of coffee or snack on the go. Gracias. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Gracias. 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 Oh, the fries, those are the fries. Orange juice. Si, gracias. So here's breakfast at La Lucha Sanguchería. Uh, we got the chicharron sandwich. This is the fried pork sandwich. There is sweet potato on it and onions. It looks incredibly good, that little shadow. That looks so good with that crusty bun. Here are the french fries, the famous french fries with Peruvian potatoes. And we've got freshly squeezed orange juice and coffee. Okay. Oh, thank you. Let me show you. <laughs> he just brought us all the sauces. Yeah, tartar, pasta. Wow. Mild, spicy, very spicy, like the Thai. That's a mix of sauce, kimchi, mayo, and go. Wow, muchas gracias. Friendly Isaac said, who brought us the sauces, he said that the potatoes are, these are the potatoes that the fries are made from. And the potatoes are grown at 5,000 meters. That's one of the reasons they're the best potatoes. I mean, potatoes of originate in Peru. We gotta try the fries first. I like how they keep the skin on them. I like how they are brown and golden. They do look exceptionally delicious. Oh. That is amazing. They're so crispy. I'm like starchy, but like so silky fine on the inside. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh man, the more you chew, the better it gets. Okay, I'll try a dip this time. This one he said is the spiciest. Aki. Not really spicy, but good flavor. Those fries are definitely addictive. Okay, coffee. Coffee is okay, not a little bit weak, but it's okay. Yeah, it could be, a, could be quite a bit stronger. But I think this place more specializes, it's not really a coffee shop. It's more of a sandwich shop and juices. I think especially they, they specialize in juices, so let's try that orange juice. Oh wow, orange juice is amazing. Oh yeah, that is, you can tell it's 100% fresh juice. They also have some other juices that I would like to try next time, especially the guanabana, which is the sour sop. Finally, we gotta try the breakfast sandwich. Ordered the chicharron, which is the fried pork. I think fried pork belly or just fried pork. One of the best things about it is the sweet potato, fried sweet potato, the pork, the onions, the pickled onions, the bun. Oh man, I'm gonna scoot some of those onions forward for that bite. Oh wow. 
well. It's so good. It's so porky. The crispy bread, the sweet potato. Sweet potato, like, literally is, it's like a replacement for cheese. But like, I think I like it even better. Like it's less rich and more natural and like, mmm. Okay, cheese is good too, but the sweet potato just works. It's amazing. I love it. That's about the tastiest breakfast sandwich you could possibly get. Wow. It's awesome. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Hasta luego. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, muchas gracias. Yeah, let's walk back through the park because of the construction. It's a prettier walk through the park. Yeah, that was extremely tasty. Finishing my last fry. I have no reason to believe that those are not the best fries in the world. And they are extraordinary, and I had no plans to eat fries for breakfast today. Oh, back to the wonderful park. Kennedy Park, Miraflores Park. This is, it's actually just like a, literally like a one minute walk from the apartment, and it's great to have so many parks nearby. Try my cooking. Made it to the apartment, this is our apartment. We're gonna go in now. There's also another way you can take up that has a ramp, but I'll just carry this time. Like All right, it. you like it, Micah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Hello, Micah. The guards are always very, very friendly here, and then there's elevators on either side. Oh, it's just opened. Step out of the elevator immediately outside and you're kind of on a, a hallway here. To this direction, have amazing views of the city. To this direction, yeah, you do not want to look down. That's 13 stories down. Oh, I don't like heights. Open here. All right, oh. Okay, welcome to the apartment. Do this deadbolt here. Leave my shoes here. And you enter into the main living room, dining room, kitchen is here. It's a great, great apartment. The owner, she's done a fantastic job of setting it up, of making it so homey. I think before we start with this entire area, we'll show you, I'll show you our bedroom, the main bedrooms, uh, because Micah's about to take a nap, so we'll do the bedrooms first. And come back here. Three, there's actually three bedrooms in this apartment, which is, it's, it's good size, it's spacious, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, we'll go over this side of the hallway. This is a bathroom here, but then at the end of the hallway, this is the master bedroom, the big bedroom. Sorry, this is our suitcase. All of our stuff is a little sprawled out here. Uh, there's a full bed and then another small bed, but this is cozy, roomy. A great room. That's so that if Micah falls off the bed, he'll land onto a pad. Bed test. Oh, yes, I have been sleeping very, very well. And then the other best thing about this room is again, the view. You gotta open the, how do you open these windows? There we go. Open up the window. Nice. Master bedroom does have a bathroom included over here. Turn on these lights. There we go. Apartment. It's not like a new apartment, uh, but I think that's what gives it charm. It's it's not very old either, but it's it's perfect. It's so homey. It's so comfortable, it's so, it's well maintained as well and, and the owner has done a great job. Uh, but the bathroom is simple but perfect. This one has a tub, a toilet, maybe it's even been renovated, um, a sink. Those are the three essentials in a bathroom. There's something I need to tell you. This house, this apartment has three bedrooms but four, four bathrooms. I don't think there's four showers, I don't even, I'm still figuring it out. But there's definitely four toilets. So four people can be using the toilet at the same time. 
Over here is the next toilet. The next full bathroom, sorry. Pretty similar to the other one, the three main, the, the three main things, the shower, the toilet, the sink. But then this one has no tub, this is just a shower. No bathtub. Two more bedrooms here. This is the bedroom that Joel's staying in. This is the bedroom that, the third bedroom. It's not a huge bedroom, small but big enough. And then sometimes Mike has been taking a nap in here. Let's move to the kitchen and outside area. From the hallway bedroom section, back out into the main section, the main living room, dining room, but let's go see the kitchen first. This is a massively long kitchen. Turn on this light, maybe that will help. Uh, just like, it's like a hallway of a kitchen. Right at the entrance, you have a small little, kind of like the kitchen dining room table where you can have a little bit of breakfast. We've got some bread, we've got some oranges, we've got some bananas, some snacks, some eggs. Fridge is here. And we have been actually doing a little bit of cooking, especially for breakfast. Oh, the mango, that's what I was supposed to eat before we had french fries for breakfast. <laughs> I'll come back for the mango. But that is one of the best things about living in an apartment, staying in an apartment when you travel, is being able to eat breakfast, being able to make small things in the kitchen. That's what we really, that's what I really like about it, other, other, than, in, other than staying in a hotel. Uh, there's a microwave, stove, full stove, hot water, coffee. We make a lot of coffee. In the back of the kitchen is the laundry section. There's a washer, there's a dryer, a sink. And again, have this is so this is the total opposite side of Lima view from this side of the window. And then from this laundry section, step into kind of the pantry closet area, brooms and vacuums and things over here. And then this is, uh, I think that's bathroom number three. This one is a toilet and a shower. This one is kind of like a secret bathroom back here because it's in the back in the back of the back of the kitchen in the back of the pantry, like a secret hideout bathroom. One of those bathrooms where, okay, I should not even talk about this, but one of those bathrooms where if you really need to go and you really don't want anybody to know, that would be the bathroom you wanna to go to. <laughs> and then before moving on to the living room, let's just quickly take a look in bathroom number four. This one is like the pure guest bathroom. Uh, if you have visitors over, just a sink and a toilet. Very convenient that they have four bathrooms, four toilets in a three bedroom apartment. This is the main dining room, but connected to this entire main living room room section. What's cool about this table, just check out these chairs. Leather, sorry it's a bit, we've got things all over the place, but look at these leather, leather dining room table seats. It's awesome. Then this is the living room. And then the, yeah, the living room is great because again, you have a view, you have a open sliding glass door. The sofas are here. The only thing is that there's not a lot of plugs, uh, electric plugs. There is one over here, one over there, which is connected to the modem. Maybe it's because it's a older place, not too many plugs. So I've had to plug up all my chargers over here rather than sitting at the table. It's neat, like if you lived here, maybe you would need to buy more power strips to be able to accommodate more power from one single plug. Another thing I haven't mentioned yet, but I really like the wooden floors, the classic wooden floors, rather than cold tiles, the classic wooden panels on the floor. Yeah, it looks good, it looks good, it's good on the feet. Then finally, what is probably the best feature part of this apartment is the balcony. Open these sliding, thick sliding glass doors. And not only just the balcony, but being able to open these doors all the way so that the breeze from the sea comes into the living room, flows through the house. The uh, balcony is just kind of like an extension of the apartment, of the living room. Let me just take a seat. You can sit out here, you can have a coffee, you can relax. Um, but yeah, like the best thing is the view, the breeze. If you look down that way, you can see the sea, the ocean. The ocean is literally like maybe like 200 meters or so. It's not far at all. Uh, but then you do have to like hike down to the ocean a bit because of the cliff, the way Lima is designed, the way Lima is. Just take a little moment to enjoy Miraflores. We've just like fully enjoyed our stay here. It's a beautiful city. People are awesome. Food is great. Ah. During our stay here, we stayed in Lima just for five nights. Let me just see how much I paid. The total bill came to $102, so right at $100 per night for this apartment, but it's three full bedrooms 
uh, four bathrooms, which we saw every bathroom. Yeah, so you could accommodate even more people where there's just three adults of us staying here and then one baby, my son, two-year-old. Uh, very spacious, very gr amazing location, heart, right in the heart of Miraflores. We've, again, we've had a fantastic stay here. So a big thank you for watching this video and also make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing more, doing more travel videos, doing more home and hotel reviews, transportation, uh, travel tips, other things like that, airplane reviews. So make sure you subscribe for lots more videos and thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Miraflores in Lima. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.